Hello and welcome to another episode of the Shaver Ranch Plus Wolves. Today we have a new project and my son Jacob will tell us what's happening. Well, this is the Shaver Ranch version of a pallet hut that we're going to build for our cats, our very many cats. <laughs> because the outside cats are in the garage and they're peeing and it's really a pain in the butt to clean up after them, so we're going to give them a place, a nice warm spot for the winter. And here it is, the beginnings. Well, what we're doing, we already kind of started. We got our foundation here. It's uh, two heavy duty pallets that's stuffed with hay. And the idea of having the hay, or straw rather, is uh, insulation for the winter. We're just, uh, we're making it real simple here. We're just making it out of OSB. We're not cutting the OSB, it's just four by eight. For the floor, for the front and the back walls. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be, one pallet thick for the ends. Right. Might get a little interesting working with the roof. We're going to put a lean on it. So what we're going to do is we got this right here. Well, I'm going to show them the, this is ah, the beginning yes. of the wall. We're stuffing it with hay, then putting the OSB as a cover on it. So it'll be nice and warm. Okay. Now in order to get the angle that we want on the roof, we got this really convenient thing here. I got that from work. Yeah, thank you, Rand. <laughs> Rand Edwards, yeah. Shout out. So we are going to put this, now the wall is going to be there. And we're going to put this up here like that. So that will be higher, and this will be lower, and we'll have the angle we need for the roof. Kind of like that uh, little free house behind you that we got. Yeah. We need that angle to keep the rain and the snow off. So, a bunch of pellets we gathered over the years. Some straw, the OSB. And some nails, yeah. some screws. For about 160 bucks, we're going to make an insulated little hut. For that was all OSB. Yeah, it's all OSB. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part that costs money. This huge tub of nails is five dollars at a at a garage sale. I strongly advocate for people to go to garage sales to find your quality tools and. Hey, it says ten dollars on it. I got it for five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll update you as the progress goes. Yeah. Bye. So here we are on day two. We are got a little late for us last night, but we put up the prefab walls. Basically what we're doing is we're just um, stuffing them with the straw, like we said. And the OSB is here. We got the floor down. We got one of the primary walls, the long walls. And then we just prefab this one and we're nailing it in. And then this. Well, oh man, I tripped. We'll go up here as we were saying before, and give us the angle for the roof. Most of it is protected anyway, but still, if anything blows in or whatnot, it'll shed off. Besides, um, we want to—we don't want to make it too tall, or else the heat is going to rise too high for the cats. Right. So it'll be a nice, warm, cuddly place, and then, of course, the material is going there, yeah. because we don't want to spend more money putting the walls on yep. the inside. The idea behind this is cost effectiveness, so we're just using what we have, and that should work. Oh, we kind of ran into a little complication over here as to what we we're gonna do, because we need the OSB, and the OSB will work perfectly as far as the width goes, so we're gonna put one straight up, but we need our angle. So we need to finish this wall over here and install that little piece of um, insulate or whatever you call it, that, that frame there, and get our angle. So. I did my hair especially for the video. Yeah. This is called getting out of bed head. <laughs> so it's coming along. We're getting her done. We got this side in. We got our angle. Basically, just took a big level, big long level. Got this wall up here. 
put the level there and went to here with a piece of OSB. And we got our angle, traced it, cut it. Here's inside. Everything's getting a lot more sturdy now that we've got the two walls connected by that third end wall there. We got these old sheets nailed in to kind of keep the uh, keep the straw in there. Makes it look a little nicer. We got an old uh, chair that was on free for the side of the road that we call the cat's chair. I'm going to put it there. All we got left is this little section here, the other end cap, and a door. It's just going to be a little narrow door here that we could just slip inside just to clean things up and everything when we need to. We're almost done. There's the last piece of the wall section. We're almost done. Just got to do a roof. Well, here we are. We ran into a little snag. It's been a while. Which snag? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had to build a door frame here to make the structure rigid and complete. That's a hammer I built. So we're coming along. We got the chair in. The cat chair, condo, and a dog. And we got this beam up. I don't remember if that was a part of it. Man, that sun is bright. Yeah. Yes. We got that in. Sturdy. Very sturdy. Sturdier than it probably needs to be for a cat house. But who knows, maybe it'll be something other than a cat house eventually. Just need a roof and a build a door. Just a roof and a door. We already have the makings of a door. It's just gonna be a, just an OSB door, just a couple of hinges OSB and a latch. Need the roof first because there's a chance it could rain and then it's all soaked and that's not good. Yep, not good. It won't hurt the pallets. Nope. But you don't want the... The hay and the and sheets and sheets and all that stuff so yeah we're coming along almost done Good. see if we can get it done today right <laughs> I hope. but i had a lot of other things i needed to do yeah, oh well isn't that always the case <sighs> we're back <laughs> this whole video is going to be one video but there's probably two months in between this and the last little segment it is now 11 degrees or so and it is very cold so forgive me if my voice is a little crackly or something. We got the sign up. It's finished. Cat house. No dogs. <laughs> got it painted. Got a door on it. A latch. Not exactly sure what else we had on there. I'll go around and show you. We got the roofing on. A nice sheen of ice on there right now. All finished. I don't know how well the quality is. Let's see. quality of video that is very sturdy right now it's basically being used for the cats that um, don't necessarily get along with the other cats it was very warm in there without anything in there it's quite warm compared to outside we actually got some old uh, 70s carpet in there too it fit in perfectly for a little project we did in the basement a good old neighbor gave us his old carpet because he replaced the new. So yeah, there it is. Totally finished. We'll probably start employing it um, for spring because we just don't have the heart to kick the cats out of the warm garage because we're suckers. <laughs> so that concludes that. I'll get it up as soon as I can. See ya.